Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'll be shooting a Toyota Supra and my client's gonna come to the first spot in about a couple of hours now and I'll be just walking you through how I took my pictures. Uh, for the first spot, it's like kind of like a city type of you know location. It has like a lot of glass buildings in the background. So for that, I'll be using the Canon 24 millimeter so I can get all of that in the in the frame. And when we go to the, the sunset shots, I'll be using the 70 to 200 millimeter so I get like a very compressed shot then for the detail shots like the close-ups i'd be using the canon 50 millimeter f 1.8 uh, so i can kind of like blur out the background and it looks a little bit nicer other than that that's about it and um, i'm just gonna you know show you how i took my pictures and i'll see you there
Then you can make a U-turn all the way at the end. Yep. Let's see if you do sport shift. Now I'm back in Lightroom and I'll be showing you how I edited this picture. This is like the main shot that I've taken in the first spot. So let's get right into it. This is the before and after for this shot so you can kind of see what like like where the edit goes. So this is before and that's after. Pretty big difference. So for now I'm just going to go to the basic panel and all I did was I lowered the highlights and I lowered the blacks a little bit so what this does is it gets rid of like the like very bright spots in the image and then for tone curve I'm just gonna leave that alone and for HSL and saturation I just you know desaturated like some of the colors that I don't want like the blues and the yellows because this ground was very yellow um, then for hues I just you know decreased the orange to about negative 30 so like a lot of the like big like major parts of the car, and since this is red, a major parts of it were very orange. Um, so doing this, it just you know makes those oranges a bit more red. So it's very true to the real color of the car. And then for luminance, I went to luminance and I just decreased the blues and some of the oranges as well because what this does is it darkens up the sky and bit of the like the like the glasses in the background. So it looks a bit nicer and not very like in your face and very very bright. And then after that, I went to color grading and I just added a little bit of blues, like 220 to the saturation to the shadows. So what this does is it adds a bit of um, contrast of colors because the core is red. It's a very warm color. And um, if you make everything like everything else around it a little bit bluish, it contrasts very well. Um, then after that, I'm just going to go to detail. And then I added 70 to sharpening and I hold Alt or Command. Um, and then drag up the masking slider until it only has the car selected. So I dragged it up to about 50 so um, it sharpens just just about the car and a little bit of the background so it doesn't add a lot of unnecessary noise. And for lens correction just um, check that like check all the boxes it, it's gonna get rid of a lot of the vignettings and like the darkening up the corners and it's, it's gonna make it look a bit nicer you know. And then for Calibration, I just decreased the blues to about negative 25. So it just adds um, a little bit of like orange and teal look. Not very much, but just a slight amount. So um, it makes the blues a bit more teal and the uh, yellows a bit more orange. And it basically, basically works with the entire photo. Then after that, I'm just gonna go to the graduated, um, graduated filter right there, the rectangle. And then you just drag from the bottom up and just select um, that like the ground in front of the car and just decrease the exposure like to negative three so it just darkens up this portion and it draws your focus on the car and then for saturation I just decrease that all the way um, because you see like there are like a very warm portion like in the in the ground in front of the car so I, doing this what this does is it you know makes it a bit more bluish so it fits the overall theme then after that i went to radial filter and i actually added um three radial filters for different parts of the car um the front one right here i just increased the shadows to bring up some of the detail right there in the grill and then after that i'm just going to exit out and go to the second one uh which is I, I believe this one yeah um so the back portion of the car was very dark so i added a bit of exposure to about one see that was very dark and when i add the exposure back in oh not 10 sorry one yeah one is good so it just brightens up that portion and uh basically brings those details back out so you can see that portion of the car better and then after that um i went to the back wheels I added a radial filter and then added like a 0.5 exposure so it brightens up that part so whenever you have a very dark portion of an image and you don't want to necessarily bring up like the entire photo like the exposure of the entire photo you want to use radial filters so that way you can selectively bring out shadows or add exposure to different parts of the image without affecting the entire image so other than that um, I believe we're done 
this is the before that's the after um, it's a very um, soft image and I really like it um, because you don't want to make it very you know like have a lot of clarity um, as you can see in the basic panel I didn't add any more clarity because um, it just makes it in my opinion it just makes it um bit too overbearing like a in your face kind of way and I kind of don't like that when it comes to you know hard light because this was shot in like a little bit of harsh lighting um the sun was coming in from the corner and um a lot of the highlights were a bit too much so I didn't add any clarity I just went with the no clarity look and I think this really worked out with the car for this image so anyways guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching